sure heal. Okay, before... There's two things that I can do, but before checking out the game corner, I need to go get the bag. Where is it? There's like a restaurant down here, I think, that has it. Is it, is it you? One case, there we go. Hooray. Off to the game corner. Actually, wait, prize corner first. Fancy the Porygon. It's one of these. God dang it, though, I don't know which one it is. I have to actually search that up. Also, this is a lot. Dratini, why are you so expensive? 4,600 coins, god damn. What are you? Hold items. Game corner. All right. We check for money. Ten coins. No, not yet. We haven't gotten money yet. Oh my god. Oh, you're the gym leader guy. Okay, so I've gotten 30 free coins. Fifty coins. What are you? No. We're gonna try this one. Sex. Sweet. Two coins. Whoa, very nice. Wow, I actually got triple sevens. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Very nice. Okay. I usually like cheesing it. I'll, I'll play this like a little bit, but then what I typically end up doing is just being like stockpiling a damn huge bunch of money and saying, yeah, I'm going to buy this. It was totally earned legitimately. <laughs> Getting a lot, but small change. <laughs> I just noticed the little fables down in the corners. I can't tell if that's Clefable or Clefairy. I'll go below, I'll go 350 and then I'll stop.
Low 350? Yeah. You're playing? Yes. Alright, how much is it for coins? Give me 500. Give me another 500. Give me 50. And we'll have to stop there for right now. Alright, where... Let's see. Who do I want out first? I think I want you. Alright, time to do the game corner. Okay, yeah. Eradicate came out first. I think he's also got a Zubat? Ow. Not a fan. Cool. And yep, it's a Zubat. Time for my Jolteon. Attack. Oh, dang it, I should have just used the Shockwave. Sweet. Dude, you should have just left it like that, because Jesus Christ, you vanished into nothing. Instead of the staircase. Alrighty. Let's start with up here. Kill you. So you don't cause me any problems on my way out. Drowsy. Oh shit, I forgot to heal Pidgeotto. Whoops. I'll probably be okay, but... Chop, keeping you out. You did guessed it. Now let's heal Pidgeotto before I go any further and injure the damn bird. Oh, Meowth picked up another item. Very nice. What did you get? Persimberry. Hey, if you give me a bunch of status effect berries, I will be very happy. Let's have to buy antidotes. What are you? Escape rope. Probably useful? Okay, let's put Vulpix out front because I need experience points. Broke into your guy was doing a shitty job of guarding it. Wisp. Was that speed reduction? So we got that. Burn is now in effect. Confuse array. Really again. Sweet. Remember? Haha! <laughs> yes! Three times this. One, two, three! <laughs> oh, yes, I love the strategy. 
Ooh, shit. Not good. I think it'll... I'll win anyways. Ooh, very close. Can I quick attack it? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to give me more. Uh, let's have... Jolteon. Wave. How it goes? Hey, Kama, it uh, it's going pretty good. I've just started the game corner. Super Potion, but I got all those lemonades from the last time, so. It's kind of ridiculous, you can only buy them one at a time, but hey, I'll take it. Just got the Celadon then? Yes. Um, I've done a little bit in Celadon already. I got the, uh, I got the Eevee, evolved it into a Jolteon, and, uh, yeah. I have not done Erica yet. I'm using this to level up my Vulpix. If I get it to 24, I think it's flame is when it gets flamethrower. Pretty normal to do the Team Rocket hideout before the gym. Yeah, that seems to be, like, if I remember correctly, that is what every single guide recommended was just, I think the levels in general are lower. But yeah, if I can get 24 on the Vulpix, I think it learns flame Flamethrower, and then I can level it up with the Fire... I can uh, evolve it with the Firestone. really love to have extra sensory, except I think that's just way too dang long to grind for. Like, Vulpix doesn't learn it until the 40s. <laughs> I don't want to wait that long at all. So, yeah. I feel that will require off-stream grinding. Well, it's not just... It's not that. Like, I could level up Vulpix to a suitable amount to be able to take on Erica. It just would be taking... It just would be very, very late. I'd be sitting with a, a Vulpix that does not gain stats as fast. Actually, no. We'll keep... You could do a grind with pretty easy. So it's easier for me to just be like... All right, you got in the 40s. All right, we'll give you the step. You got the flamethrower. We'll give you the stat boost. There you go. God dang it! I swear, poison is like my worst enemy. Anything that can poison me will. Erica's the plant or the psychic type. She is the grass type. Okay, yeah, we'll switch. Uh, we'll do Pidgeot. Pidgeotto. Named it Pidgeot in anticipation of it becoming a Pidgeot. Keep wanting to call it Pidgeot instead of Pidgeotto. Why? She got it for Flareon. Um, I usually like Jolteon. I don't know if it's... It's just a preference, but yeah. Probably 
Probably Flareon would have been a good option for that, but the only thing would be... I like Ninetales. Ooh, crap, I forgot. Antidote, use. Oh, I should probably use a, uh, well, first of all, so you don't have to scroll all the way down every single time. Give me a lemonade. Okay, this thing. Okay. I typically use Jolteon you know, too because my starter is Charmander, so Eric is never an issue. Yeah, that's usually a good one to take. My typical favorite is Bulbasaur, but uh, I let the I let Twit I let Twitter choose, which is why I now have Squirtle. Yep. Need down here. And then it's this one. There we go. But Jolteon, I, I usually like having an electric type, especially for the, the water roots and the bird types. And Jolteon is just way better than anything. <laughs> like, I could get the Electabuzz, except that's in the... That's after I've already gotten through a whole bunch of the bird trainers, and I would need to know the surf type to get there anyways. So... Ugh, that's not it. Bulbasaur is the best starter for smashing through the game, Charmander is a decent challenge, and Squirtle is just a boss. <laughs> like, Squirtle's not terrible, but I will admit I might level it up to a Blastoise and then trade it out for, like, a Dratini. The only thing would be, it would be like, okay, then what do I do for Surf? So. Eradicate, uh, yeah, switching for Pidgeot. But yeah, Bulbasaur, I like, I have this, like, combo that I like using of moves for Bulbasaur, and yeah, that thing will just obliterate damn near anything. Like, the only tr the only two gyms I would have trouble with with Bulbasaur are, uh... Oh, which ones are they? Saffron, the Psychic one, and the, Cel and the Plant and Celadon. I forgot what came up next. <laughs> Like, the one thing I'm thankful for right now is that, uh... Wartortle does have Bite. So that's another one that gives me Bite for the... For the, uh... Saffron Psychic Gym. Okay, yes, we are changing. Back to Firefox. Yeah, I don't know. My my strategy is half favorites, half I can smash through anything. <laughs> it's not terrible, but it makes the early gyms difficult with water, electric, and grass being one after another. Yeah. I don't know. Charmander kind of sucks in the very beginning. And then... Oh, what was it? There's this one. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, like the first two and the last two gyms suck with Charmander, but if you can get past those two, it's easy enough. But. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what do you got? Grimer. Yeah, Bulbasaur is OP. I 
I mean, for the first gen, yes. Actually, in a certain sense, uh... If I was playing the Gen 1 versions, Pikachu actually is kind of OP because stat, uh... Criticals are determined based off speed. That thing could just critical, 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 critical. <laughs> but in this one, that's why I switched to Jol That's why I switched it to something like Jolteon. Because it's like... It doesn't have that benefit. I have a good electric type, but then as soon as I can get a better one... Yoink! Sorry, Pikachu. I like you, but you're out. Coughing. Uh, I'm gonna switch. Uh, yeah, we'll do Raynard. Coughing again. Eh, we'll go with it. Reynard getting a workout. Not that the Yeet Beam is much of a workout. You could use great unless you're playing yellow version, so everything you can catch is trash before Brock and electric types are wee babies to rock. Yes. I don't usually like a Mankey because they're way too slow to level up, but I have to have a Mankey because that stupid thing will not... That stupid thing is amazing through Mount Moon. Okay, I think I'm okay, I just need to use 11-8. Who's that first? Firefox. Yeah, you're good. Ooh. That did more damage than I was expecting. But after Brock PPQ is rigged out, especially in Mount Moon, Zubats are like gas station toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I was commenting on that when I... In the first part of this that I did for uh, for streaming, I was just commenting that must be kind of scary to just have a Pikachu and go through Mount Moon, just creating a thunderstorm every few steps, trying to deal with the stupid thing, <laughs> trying to deal with those stupid Zubats, like terrifying everybody there. Like, why are there so many thunderstorms around here? Just a trail of fried Zubat. I really need to heal my Vulpix. I don't think I have a revive. So I think having Pokemon in real life, like, hey, this is... <laughs> That's what I think having Pokemon in real life would be horrifying. Like, hey, Jim, is there a storm rolling in? No, just Timmy with his fucking Zapdos again. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny because, like, in the er in the earlier gens, there were a couple of Pokemon that were kind of creepy, but otherwise I wouldn't have minded it. But now there's like a whole bunch of Pokemon where the deck where the dex entries just imply fridge horror, like 
for way more of them. <laughs> and it's just like, oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I don't want that actually. Like, cause now there's so many of them like, this will steal children, this will steal your soul, this will lure you away into the dark corners where nobody will find you again. <laughs> and there's so much more coming out like that in the later gens. Ooh, rare candy. Probably cliche, but ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. I can't wait to get Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that would... We're basically getting there. I... I... I will not be surprised. It's gotta happen eventually. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to base it on various regions, and they're going to base it off the mythologies, and eventually they're going to have to get to Lovecraft at some point. <laughs> I mean, shit, what was it? I think it's Jellicent? Like, they already have one that explains the Bermuda Triangle, and it's basically a giant fucking octopus. Or squid thing. I think it's Jellicent, where they have one that's just like... Yeah, anything that comes within range of this gets a storm, and no ship has survived. <laughs> we have godlike Pokemon, so it's only a matter of time until we get that <laughs> horror legendaries. I mean, didn't we kind of already get that with, though? What is it? Yvettel and Xerneas? I mean, I guess that's not all the way there yet. I do like the progression that we've had so far, though, in the legendaries. Elemental birds. Elemental dogs. Masters of time and space. Masters of weather. Gods! Doggo. <laughs> yeah, Giratina's probably the closest as of right now. And not quite there yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> Ooh. Probably a bad decision, but let's see. Yeah, that was bad. That was me being a dumb. There we go. Drowsy. Uh, yes. Oh, god dang it! The best one would have been Kabuki, because I could have bit it. Pokemon oh, the Sleeper, really? <laughs> Come on, Game Freak! All we need is a DLC. All we need is a legendary DLC. Cthulhu. <laughs> Ooh. I think that's a dark enhancement. Max Ether. Here's our... I think you got the key? Yep. Lift key will be mine. Whoa, hi there. Why are you dropping low? Are we still fighting Team Rocket? Has no one seen the giant squid demon?
Yeah, it's like, dude, Saffron Town is going crazy right now. Nobody knows why. Something is there. Nobody wants to go check it out. <laughs> oh, that should be one of the evil teams. That should be one of the villainous teams. Sect of Cthulhu worshippers. <laughs> And then to stop their plan, you have to fight the Cthulhu Legendary. Has some hidden ability that causes confusion as soon as it steps onto the battlefield. Pokemon type is it? Who gives a shit? Kill it! <laughs> Oops. What am I doing? Ooh. Yeah, it should be okay. Let's see. I think two is the easiest place to get on the... Relative easiest. There we go. Before. Is there any? Yep, there is. Calcium. All right. See, now that makes me want to think of the whole thing as being in like a New England setting. Why is it that every single, like, weird thing has happened in New England? Every single one of those things, it's not it. Not even in New York. You go up into Vermont, Massachusetts, the entire area is just haunted. Haunted AF up there. Now totally forgotten. I hope it's an Arbok. I think nope. It's oh, it's Arbok. One of you has a Sand Shrew. One of you has a Sand. One of you has a Slash. One of you has Arbok. Jesus, I forgot this. I feel like this place is probably harder to survive in during the colonial days. Probably. I mean, it's got to be like the struggle, like struggling against the elements. Whenever they pissed off the natives, there's got to be a problem with that. <laughs> more death, more spoop. <laughs> oh, do I not have a paralyzed kit? Nope, it's up at the top. There you are. Buki has an item. 